curious about what happens behind the scenes in journalism, check out the 1976 movie All the President's Men. This film, directed by Alan J. Pakula, tells the true story of reporters Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein investigating the Watergate scandal. The movie grabs your attention with its exciting story and keeps you hooked all the way. Get ready for a mix of emotions. There are funny moments, surprising revelations, and touching scenes. When did you first see this movie? Whether it's a recent find or a trip down memory lane, All the President's Men leaves a lasting impression. Now, think about your favorite memory or personal experience with this film. Share your stories and thoughts in the comments. Let's connect and chat about our love for movies. Stay tuned for more interesting facts about this classic. There's always something new to learn, even for longtime fans. Keep watching, keep commenting, and let's keep the conversation alive. Released in 1976, All the President's Men is a captivating film directed by Alan J. Pakula that explores the true story of investigative journalists Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein. The movie unfolds against the backdrop of the Watergate scandal, a pivotal moment in American history that shook the political landscape. The story is set in the Washington Post newsroom, where the movie follows the journalists as they uncover corruption and deceit surrounding the Democratic National Committee headquarters break-in. Their relentless pursuit of the truth turns their journalistic endeavor into a thrilling narrative that captures the essence of investigative reporting. Woodward and Bernstein showcase tenacity as they navigate leads and sources, piecing together the puzzle that eventually exposes high-level government misconduct. The journey is marked by unexpected twists, humorous moments, and poignant revelations that keep the audience engaged. The setting, mainly within the newsroom, provides a dynamic backdrop to the unfolding drama, emphasizing the fast-paced and high-pressure nature of investigative journalism. The film effectively conveys the challenges faced by journalists in their quest for truth and justice. As for the characters, Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman deliver stellar performances as the journalists, bringing to life their camaraderie and dedication. Jason Robards, portraying the stern yet supportive editor Ben Bradley, adds depth to the narrative. Upon its release, the film received critical acclaim and several awards, establishing itself as a cinematic classic. Its influence is evident not only in its box office success, but also in its lasting effect on journalism-themed movies that followed. In conclusion, All the President's Men stands as a timeless cinematic gem, blending suspense, drama, and a touch of humor to recount a crucial chapter in American history. The movie's portrayal of journalistic integrity, the pursuit of truth, and the courage to challenge the status quo continues to connect with audiences, making it a must-watch for both movie enthusiasts and those interested in the world of journalism. In the world of careful journalism, the 1976 movie directed by Alan J. Pakula shows a commitment to finding the truth. Every detail in the film was double-checked and confirmed by independent sources before making it into the script. The dedication to getting things right reflects the investigative determination of the main characters Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein. It's interesting to note that Chris Carter, the creator of The X-Files, got inspiration from this influential movie. The use of the Deep Throat code name in the X-Files is connected to all the President's men, adding an interesting element to the story. One of the names on Woodward and Bernstein's list of creep employees also bears a resemblance to a character later introduced in the X-Files named Scully. A subtle reference to history happens when Ben Bradley, played by Jason Robards, looks at the groundbreaking Woodward Bernstein article. Rosenfeld, a character in the movie, mentions the New York Times' earlier release of the Pentagon Papers. This historical event, happening before the Watergate scandal, was when the Times revealed the government's mishandling and cover-ups related to the Vietnam War. However, the Watergate affair became the biggest political scandal of the century, surpassing it. All the President's Men not only explores the gripping Watergate scandal, but also subtly connects to broader political events. The movie captures the spirit of determined journalism and the relentless pursuit of truth, making a lasting impact on cinematic history. Against the Washington, D.C. backdrop during filming, Robert Redford stayed at the Watergate Hotel, blending reality and fiction. The choice adds irony since the film explores the Watergate scandal. The film's start features a unique mix of sounds typewriter hammers, symbolizing words as powerful weapons crafted carefully. Gunshots and whiplashes layered over the typewriter clicks highlight the film's main theme. 
This sound pattern repeats in the closing scene with a teletypewriter printing headlines amid a 21-gun salute, creating a thematic thread throughout the movie. A standout moment is a scene with Redford in a phone conversation. The six-minute single take with deliberate slow camera tracking emphasizes realism. A mistake where Redford addresses the caller by the wrong name becomes a genuine moment kept in the final cut due to his seamless immersion in character. These insights reveal the careful work behind the film aligning with conscientious journalism in the story. The use of real locations, nuanced sound, and commitment to realism in key scenes showcases the filmmaker's dedication to authenticity. The movie's influence extends beyond its story, connecting subtly with later cultural references. Chris Carter, the X-Files creator, drew from all the president's men, incorporating the deep throat code name and a character reminiscent of Scully. Additionally, the film ties into broader political history, referencing the Pentagon Papers and framing Watergate as a significant political event. In conclusion, All the President's Men goes beyond being an engaging film. Its careful craft, authentic storytelling, and cultural echoes make it a timeless exploration of journalistic integrity. The film's impact on later works highlights its ongoing relevance in both cinematic and cultural spheres. Hal Holbrook, who was suggested by Bob Woodward as the perfect deep throat in the 1976 film, initially said no to the role. Even though Holbrook wasn't too keen, Robert Redford managed to convince him, explaining how crucial and memorable Deep Throat's portrayal would be in the movie. Woodward and Bernstein, the real journalists the film is based on, offered to write the screenplay but struggled with it. They tried adding reporter jokes and personal stories, but only a bit of that remains in the scene where Bernstein talks with Sharon Lyons at the outdoor cafe. It's interesting to note a connection between two big journalism films, All the President's Men and Spotlight. Both movies revolve around the Bradley family, with Ben Bradley Sr., played by Jason Robards, editing the Washington Post during Watergate, and Ben Bradley Jr., portrayed by John Slattery, leading the Boston Globe during the clergy abuse exposed covered in Spotlight. These subtle connections between journalism stories highlight the ongoing influence of investigative reporting on movie narratives. The interconnectedness of these films, showcasing different sides of journalism, emphasizes the lasting impact of truth-seeking stories in cinema. The Washington Post newsroom in All the President's Men was meticulously crafted by production designer George Jenkins. Drawing on his Broadway background, he used false perspective to convey the depth of the actual newsroom. To enhance the illusion, prop makers resized desks, ensuring a seamless match with the set's reduced scale. The film's attention to detail, down to the height of extras in the background, successfully captures the size and atmosphere of an authentic newsroom. The catchphrase Follow the Money became synonymous with the film originating outside the book or any Watergate documentation. Robert Redford's early investment in the source book published in 1974, underscores his commitment to bringing this gripping tale to the big screen. Adjusted for inflation, his 450,000 purchase in 1974 translates to 215 million in 2014, showcasing the movie's lasting impact. The film's connection to reality extends beyond its narrative. During filming, Redford stayed at the Watergate Hotel, adding a touch of irony to the production. The unique mix of sounds in the film, like typewriter hammers and gunshots, weaves a thematic thread symbolizing the power of words. A standout moment, a six-minute single take with Redford, showcases the filmmaker's dedication to realism, even preserving a genuine mistake in the final cut. Hal Holbrook's initial reluctance to play Deep Throat, eventually convinced by Redford, adds authenticity to the portrayal. The struggle of Woodward and Bernstein in adapting their own story for the screenplay reflects the challenges of translating real events to film. Notably, the subtle connection between All the President's Men and Spotlight, both featuring the Bradley family in different journalistic contexts, underscores the lasting influence of investigative reporting on cinema. In conclusion, the movie stands as a carefully crafted piece, not just in its narrative, but in its attention to detail, sound design, and authentic portrayal of journalistic endeavors. Its influence echoes through catchphrases, real-life connections, and the challenges faced in adapting truth-seeking stories for the screen.